Hey guys, what's going on and welcome back to What Shall We Do Next and today is a very scary day, a very spooky day indeed because it is Friday the 13th. <laughs> So I hope you didn't step on any cracks in the sidewalk today, guys, or let any black cats crush your path. But today we're going to do something even more scary than that. Something that could potentially kill me. <laughs> so since it is a day of bad luck, I thought it would be fun to try a little experiment. And I got this idea because of a comment I got on my video yesterday from just a person on YouTube. No, literally, that's actually their name. Check it out. So just a person on YouTube said, off topic. But what happens if you open that locked cage with Annabelle locked up there? I'm curious. And that's when I said, I can make a video opening the cage so you can see if you want. And then just a person on YouTube said, sure. That's when I said, I'll upload it later. It is Friday the 13th too. Probably not a good idea to do it on this day. LOL. That's when just a person on YouTube said, that's cool. Then they said, but what would happen if you open it on Friday the 13th? And that's when I said, I guess I'll have to find out tonight. Lol. <laughs> so over here is Annabelle locked up in her case so that she can't, the demon can't get out and kill anybody. And tonight on Friday the 13th, I just spit everywhere. That's how nervous I am. We are going to open her box and let her out. Okay, I'm scared. <laughs> and I know it's just a doll and it's not real. It's just a bunch of hocus pocus, as Max Danison said. And look how that turned out, actually. They literally summoned three witches that haunted them all throughout the night. Maybe this isn't a good idea. Ah. Uh, okay, I'll just do it. I'm not gonna be... What do you think I am? A little crybaby poopy pants? No, I'm not. That's you. Here it goes, guys. We're about to unleash the demon. Oh my god. Oh, it smells like actual rotten fucking dead meat or something. Oh, holy shit. <laughs> what is that stench? Girl, you stinky. Oh, God. It's also like this mixed smell of sulfur, which I believe that's a bad, uh, a bad sign when you smell sulfur and you're doing something like this. Hey, come on up. Come on. Come to mama. Add a girl. Okay. So, here we have- Oh my fucking god, I thought the door was shutting by itself then. It was the back of my chair knocking the door. L let's try and do that again. So the door was open like this, and as I turned, I was just looking in the viewfinder and I just saw the door go. <laughs> oh, that freaked me out. Okay, so here's her little rocking chair. I tried to get a little chair for her, um, similar to what she had in the movie, but- um, I had a hard time finding one that actually fits her. This kind of does. I mean, it's a tight squeeze, but she fits in there. I think she needs to lose a little weight. Don't worry. I'm not judging you. I'm relating to you, Annabelle. We'll take a little look at Annabelle. I can't remember exactly how tall this is. I think it's possibly 18 inches. So it's not like the life-size one that's in the movie. The one in the movie is 40 inches tall. Um, which I really wanted, and you can get, uh, the same, the same company, excuse me, the same company that makes this one, makes the full-size version, but it was literally like four or five hundred dollars, and I wasn't gonna pay that for a doll. Even this one was like 80 bucks, I think, when I got it. Um, but... It's extremely, like, really... I feel like it's really detailed. It doesn't look too much like the Annabelle in the movie. Like, if you really look at the one in the movie. But I really like that it's still very creepy. Like, the eyes... Look at the eyes on that. You would swear she's, like, staring right back at you. And the hair feels extremely real. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if this is actually, like, real hair. Like, I wouldn't be. I mean, it feels so real. It's kind of crazy. Um, the one in the movie has a much fatter face and stuff like that. This has like a sponge body, I guess, or like there's some kind of filling inside of her. And there is in the arms too, up to here. And then you got like these hard like plastic hands, but they feel like they're wooden. Um, and the hands are extremely detailed. Look at this one doing the claw hand. You can see like the creases in her palms, her fingernails. Like it's incredible, the detail on this doll. The eyes are incredible. Everything about this is incredible. Like, even the dress. It feels like a very, like, I don't know, what's it called? Is it satin or, like, silk? It's, a, it's very silky. I don't know what the material is. But you would swear that this was, like, a real dress. It's not just, like, a Barbie doll dress. You know, like, the thicker material. This is very, very soft and um, 
very silky. As far as I know, she's not actually cursed by a demon, but I, I don't know. I mean, some weird things happen to her. There has been a, multiple occasions where she's tried to actually escape from here. Um, I've come in here to do a video and either the door has been open or her chair has been like leaning forwards with her head pressed against the glass and the door has been like opened a little bit. And that freaks me out every time that happens because it's like, that's kind of what happens in the movie. She kind of falls and hits her head on the glass. Um, and in my case, I don't have an actual lock on it it's got a magnetic shut so like it shuts by a magnet um but i made that all by myself to just just a person on youtube if you're watching this i actually made this case myself um and annabelle just sits in there all the time now i actually handwritten this thing too i copied it i traced it from my laptop screen i was going to print it out but my printer didn't have any ink so i just like traced it and just stuck it up there so it's it's near enough an exact replica of the movie the only thing that's missing is i don't have the little devil um tarot cards to put on the the door too uh like in the movie but yeah this is annabelle and this is what it looks like underneath um, not to be kind of weird or anything, but I have looked up the, the dress to see what's up there. There's nothing special. There's a little tag right here. What does this say? New Line Productions. And it's made in China, of course, because everything's made in China. And, uh, that's pretty much all it says on here. Nothing really special. But the legs, the legs are like, um, there again, they're filled up until here. And then it's like hard plastic but they they look so real like you would swear it was like wood these look like wooden feet they've got like a wooden finish on it it, it looks pretty realistic but yeah i mean it, it's pretty good for like the the price if you don't want to i mean if you can't afford the big full size one which most people couldn't or you're at least not going to pay that much money for a doll um this one is a pretty good go-to if you're just a really big fan of annabelle and that literally cost me hardly anything it was like maybe 20 bucks maximum to make and how i made it was with four picture frames i just got like pretty large picture frames and glued the four of them together made a box and then just got like a piece of wood um to do the bottom and the top and it holds it all together one of the doors i just put hinges on and a magnet and that's all there was to it and a little um a little door handle right here so that's all there was to it. Then I spray painted the edges gold and then I put the plastic. It's not actually glass. It's like a plexiglass kind of stuff. So I just took that out while I spray painted it and then put them back when I was done. And I don't know if you guys remember, but I have this, uh, this little music box right here and it's a love heart shape, but you can also turn it this way and it looks like a planchette from a Ouija board like this. Um, and this music box plays the Annabelle song from Annabelle come, um, Annabelle creation. So I'm going to play this, see if it triggers anything in the Annabelle doll, but it's the, you are my sunshine, my only sunshine song. So maybe this will trigger something and make the doll come to life. And I was, it's weird. Cause I was actually thinking about Talitha Bateman today who played Janice in Annabelle creation. I was thinking about her today cause I was looking through my photos and I saw, um, a screenshot that I have where she liked my comments on Instagram. So get on my level guys. <laughs> okay. Let's play this and see if she comes to life. Okay. Tell me if you see anything weird going on in her eyes. It stopped by itself. What the fuck? No, just kidding. It ran out of, um, you have to turn the little thing at the bottom. It's really cute though, because you can actually watch it playing if you want to. Look at this. How cute is that? Oh, and you want to see too? Sorry. <laughs> just kidding she didn't kill me not yet she probably will at tonight at 3 a.m though I'm just gonna put her back in there and i will fix that later on but anyway guys i hope you enjoyed this video and uh just random person on youtube i hope this answered your question what happens when you let annabelle out the case and the answer is nothing yet but anyway guys thank you for watching enjoy your weekend and i will see you right back here in the next video peace out and chase your dreams